It's been a very, very long time since I've been down here. Um, I'll tell you, I'll be back. Yeah, four months. It's uh, exciting. It's good to see the boys. Um, you can see from the training session, they're hungry and they're enjoying it. And, and that's the thing, you know, you can't do too much with them because they've not kicked a ball in four months. So, very pleased with them. Um, and like I say, they're enjoying it, which is the main thing. And they're, they're enjoying seeing each other, which is good for me. It's important, isn't it, to, to get so many of last year's squad back. You signed them all fairly early. How important is it that you got the bulk of last year's squad back with you? I felt that they learned a lot from the first part of the season. Um, and our record after Christmas, which was 4-4-1, four, four and one, was tremendous. Um, deserved everything they got from it. And it's just a shame the season finished when it did because we was looking really good. And I think, think they deserve another go. You know, we changed a few, um, bought, bought a couple in which is good. We've got Tom Parkinson and Tom Beard, two brand new signings in my eyes. So we may have released four, and only looks at the minute that we've got one signed, but Tom Beard and Tom Parkinson signing, two big signings. One new face in uh, Christian Campbell. Tell me about yeah. him. Played very well against him. We knew him from his Merstrom days, and uh, played very well against us last year. We've known about him a long time, and it's just at this moment in time, I wanted a natural left-footed fullback that we haven't had at the club. Um, watching what he'd done um, was brilliant and he fits the bill of how we want to play. Um, if he can do half of what we saw last year from him against us, you know, he'll fit well into this squad. You've got a left back obviously still at the club who's played what <laughs> bulk of the last 300 games. Will yep. he just give you options in terms of the full back? Gives options. You know, if, if Christian's not playing to the standards I want, then Jack Park will play left back. Jack Park can play right back. Folks, he can play left back and right back. So I've got three full backs. You know, I've got three centre halves if you've caught Class Parkey as one of them. I've got three centre midfield, well, two centre midfielders at the minute. Uh, I've got two forwards, three wide players. So I'm looking for three positions in every, three players in every position. Um, and if they can do that, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay. Do you see yourself signing many more? Will the squad be smaller than last year? I've got to speak to Christy. I don't know if Christy's going to be staying. Um, if he doesn't, then we get another midfielder. Um, I've got another forward lined up to come in. Um, and once that's over the line, everyone will know. So I've got fingers in every pie, but it's just about finishing it off. It's going to be very odd for pre-season. Looks like the supporters won't see any of the pre-season games, so the first time they'll see the team will be the first day of the season whenever supporters are allowed back in. How odd yeah. is that for, for you trying to... It's going to be strange. To it's going to be strange. Um, we've managed to get some good friendlies as well. Um, and like I say, it would have been good for the supporters to, to come and see them. But still pleasing that them teams want to come and play us, even with no supporters. So um, it's going to be strange, but it's what we've got to do. You know, you've got, you've got to get on with it, play with the hand you're dealt and, and see what happens at the end of that. Mm -hmm. And um, in terms of just assembling last year's squad again, I mean, did, did any of them need a lot of persuading or, or were they very quick, yeah, I want to be part of this again Football, next year? Football's in a diff difficult situation at the minute, mm -hmm. budgets and many, many professional players being released. Um, could have gone down the route of signing a lot of the academy boys, or under 23 boys that have been released from pro clubs. But like I said, I like these players. These players give everything for this club, and uh, or did last season, have the ones that have been with me for a long time. And I don't see the reason in changing it. You know, if we can start off as we finished, which is a big if, you know, and continue that, we're going to have a dip at some point. But I think a lot of them are wise to the league. And that, that, that's something that needs to be done. They're not babies anymore. You know, we've got a few younger ones in there. Let's say Rian's still 21. Um, we have got some younger ones, but we've got some experience. And uh, like I say, Rian's 21, but played three seasons at this level. So it's something that I thought long and hard about. And I thought it was the opportunity that if I can keep them together, we've got a great chance of doing well next season, rather than just aiming to stay up. Judges mm. to coaching staff as well. Yes. Tell us about uh, the changes you made there. Well, James, let's like say, James went away um, and ended up coming back and he'd done a lot of work for me. People don't know behind the scenes on our running before the season finished because um, it didn't work out where he went. Um, so he's come back in, very good uh, with the analysis stuff and a very good coach. And then Stuart, unfortunately, couldn't commit because of family, family situations. He's got a young family. 
and Adam's come in and he's, uh, people speak very highly of him, um, the ones I spoke to to do my research and I've just watched his session there and he's put the boys through the paces and very impressed with it so if that continues um, he's not a yes man, he, he'll say his piece like I want all my staff to, he'll fit in well with the staff. Alright, well good luck for pre-season. Thanks mate.